he it's rusty old hidden shit because it's still gonna be there so yeah that's shout out to plug and shit you know what i mean i saw him when i was painting my last production he popped up and shit chicken boo is our little code word he said chicken boo because that's the our word when i had to i jumped out of a car at 90 miles hour, 90 mile, miles an hour cracked my head bro almost died and he was he was there with that when yeah that's a whole another story bro that's my boy <laughs> how do you first meet plug sa10 fuck i don't fuck that's a good question do you meet any of the other sa10s and utks i remember punk i saw punk at fish's show but he doesn't write punk anymore he told me to write something else and shit but yeah, I know him from back in the days too and shit. You mentioned you used to write Krang. Yeah. Are you writing Krang when you start the AAA crew? Yes. Can you tell us about how the trip, the idea of starting AAA begins? Where do you first develop it? Who do you tell first? Who do you recruit first? So initially so you know i don't know if you know the um that bridge in los feliz that in between marshall and I don't know, is it franklin the shakespeare bridge yeah with the little things little right. fucking ovulus or whatever um we were walking yoda smog and i and i said fuck it we'll just start a crew bro that's it was as simple as us three was smog in a different crew at the time no smog was um he wasn't from nowhere you know what I mean? He was actually, him, Swank, and I were, that's the first collaboration I did. And that was um, on, in South Central off of Jefferson. And um, I'm not sure if it was late 94 or early 95. I did a Dragon Ball Z, and Swank did some, like, dope alien character. And Smog did, like, some weird, like, little character and shit. And that was in, um, I think, late 94. But that was the first time I actually did some shit like, hey, we're doing a collaboration production type of deal. And I don't know if people remember, it was that Black Panther mural off of Jefferson, and we did the back. Um, I, just to add, it was funny. The dude hooked, up, hooked me up with a fade after, and I guess he was a crip, and I was hot at the time. So he was giving me a fade. Mm. And this is Swank already left. He was giving me a fade. Oh, no, Swank was still there, I think. And I know where Carl's by, and I'm getting a fade, and this who puts his, his nine. <laughs> On the barber table, oh, y'all niggas know I'm from the hood, right? I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's what I remember from that one. <laughs> shit. But yeah, that's shit. Triple A, one of the most influential crews, especially back in those days Thank when you. everything was about tag banging. Yeah. You guys had style, the way you dressed, uh, your piecing, your art. Damn. Can you please give us a little uh, more detailed information on how you chose the name AAA okay. and how would you recruit artists that you felt were worthy of being in AAA because okay, all so of the, you the recruiting process it was like I basically got cat, cats asking me about it you know what I mean my peers and I was at Marshall and so I took that as oh this is dope because it was just me and a couple of heads and they were older than me Smog and Yoda they're probably like pushing 50 now so they're all like five or six, seven years older than me. And I'm, like I said, I'm 44. So the cats that got in were like Paisa, um, Cure, um, um, Gush, D-Tech. And they were all younger than me. They were all about a year younger than me. I got my homie Dino. Um, and so, and then I had issues later on with infiltration where dudes were trying to like, dudes took acid and had a bad trip and started hating me. The dude Tick. I'll mention their names and start basically, and I'll, and I'll fast forward it a little bit. I'm going up to some graph event, showing up to check it out, and the homie Menace tells me, um, hey, my nigga, he called, he called me Loco Lock, because I used to have dreads, and he's like, oh, you're a cholo with dreadlock, whatever. He called me, my nigga, Loco Lock. He goes, some niggas biting your ass hard, nigga. And these niggas biting you hard. I'm like, what the fuck is he talking about? I'm like, what are you talking about? Goes, You'll see, nigga. And so I go up inside the graffiti event. It was out there in MacArthur Park. I don't know if you remember, by MacArthur Park. Um, I go in and this dude that I got, I gave him the boot for my crew already, but he's lying to people saying that he taught me how to paint, doing a bunch of shit that's like a wannabe version of my shit with stencils and shit. So I've had that issue when I'm not the stencil dude. I might use stencils on my fine work and shit, or not stencils, but like painter's tape and shit. But on my walls, I'm all freehand. You know what I mean? Um, I don't sketch. You know, I've never sketched because it makes it more difficult for me because when I don't, you know what I mean? But back to, sorry, to change the subject, ADD. The crew thing is um, cats that engaged with me and said they were down because it was hard for me to find people that were consistent. And back to, you mentioned the style. 
I was a b-boy, bro. I was like until 2017, and I was already, you know what I mean, in my late 30s, rocking, you know, power moves and air flares. And then um, I had some. I was walking up the hill one day, and my back just got fucked up. So I could still do floor work and pop and all that, but I've been a b-boy as long as I've been painting and all that. Like you know, I've mean? been a b-boy since I was a fucking little kid, bro. Um, you stay out with Air Force crew and all that shit with Lil Caesar taught me how to break dance animation, rest in peace, Ruben flat top. And so I always was ready and it was always part of my shit. I never had just like I'm doing graffiti. I went to the spot to go go battle on the mic, to go battle on the floor. So I would literally go. They called me the Renaissance B-boy. Some people that are watching this will remember, oh, it's that motherfucker that would be winded on the mic from doing head spins and to go serve a rapper. Oh, 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 yo, I'm ripping your shit to shreds. And just, so that was my shit, bro. I did all of it. So my style and the homie styles, and, and I'm not saying that certain foods copied my styles with certain foods in my area. And I was also being like, yo, adding yo to my vocabulary when I've never been to New York. You know what I mean? But I was adding that to my vocabulary when I was 16. And then so trying to seem more like Beat Street or some shit, you know, wild style. But yeah, you know, I'm from the streets of L.A. And my shit was just straight like B-boy L.A., B-boy Air Force crew. I used to sneak out of my house when I was 15 to go to the Dream Center to practice with Little Caesar. And so Little Caesar would be like, Justin, the thing about you, homie, is you're dedicated. Like, I wasn't sneaking out to go do shady shit. I was practicing head spins, literally with a helmet. So that was my shit, bro. I was ready for hip-hop bro that's my shit and, and what sucks is like hip-hop has a bad rap right now with all this this mumble shit trap shit so i'm talking about hip-hop as in like mcs freestyling really freestyling not writing something and pretending and reciting what they wrote saying it's a freestyle b-boying you know what i mean um oh fuck it i gotta you want me to be going toward the break or want me to um dude will i am should i bring that up my first lookout you know what? Not yet, actually. Okay. I'm really interested in the crew, bro. All right, all right. First of all, how do you choose the name AAA? Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. Sorry. Abstract Aerosol Anomalies. Oh, is that Artists what it and is? Assassins, all about art, attacking all authority. You know what I mean? Against all antagonists. But my favorite is um, Abstract Aerosol Anomalies. 